Growth, down. Net income, down. Taxes, up. Unemployment, up. Public sector, debt. You'd have thought that would have been it. That would have been enough. There has been a huge, huge, mass immigration that represent the most shocking numbers any of us have ever seen. Illegal migration and your policy, Mr. Weber, German policy, willkommen. It's the reason why Europe is not safe. Let's talk about the report about Germany, safety in Germany. Six million crimes raised, the highest rise in the history of Germany. And you want to continue that? This madness about illegal migration will be stopped after this election. This madness about the Green Deal, Madam President, will be stopped and your smiles and good humor will not change the fact that conservatives will make Europe great again. Are the EU finally waking up to reality? Well, it seems so obvious to me that if you literally allow anyone that crosses the Mediterranean who sets foot, whether it's in Italy or in Spain or wherever it may be, to stay, which is what they did, uh, that this would have catastrophic consequences. How will redistribution deter millions and millions of migrants destined to arrive in Europe the coming decades? It won't. Instead, the entire EU will mimic Sweden's migrant problems, gang wars, overrun welfare systems, and increasing Islamism all over Europe. My country is one of the founding fathers of the European Union. In the 50s, we were one of the countries that started the European Union. At that time, it was an economical union. It was cooperating economically and it deteriorated, or it changed, if you like the word better, in the next decades into a political union. Most of the lawmakers, more than 50% of the laws in Holland, I'm a member of parliament, does not come from our government, but come from Brussels, that we have to implement. And when it comes to the immigration policy, we are not in charge anymore. If it comes to Greece or our budget, we are not in charge on all aspects anymore. And I'm sure that if the migration policy, for instance, or the financial policy deteriorates, that at the end of the day, people will feel and sense again that working together, yes, if there is an interest, mutual interest, countries will always work together but not in a political union. Illegal mass migration leads to the disintegration of society. It breaks down European norms, it destroys public security. The first signs of that horrible disaster are already visible in many Western European cities. Think of just France, for instance, and the brutal horrendous murders that have become part of French life. Public safety is deteriorating, the state is losing control, public authority is slipping out of its hand. Your leftists been two years, two years of Putin's attack and what have you done nothing what have you done mr weber as a germany what have you done five thousand helmets that's your achievement oh no you build the north stream too and then you block the sanctions what about belgium you you are responsible for blocking sanctions on on russian diamond what about austria Austria was blocking 12th package of sanctions because one of their banks was on the list of the war sponsors. What about the rest? All you did was just a blocking sanctions and Poland was first to help when Russians attacked 17 million people cross Polish-Ukrainian border. So do not lecture us about humanity, about asylums, about refugees, because we do know what the refugee is and what illegal migrant is. I was the first MEP to see massive graves. How many of you visited Ukraine? How many of you visited Lampedusa? I was the one to see illegal migrants. Do you really want to fix this migration crisis? Commissioner, are you even aware what's going on in Sweden? Ordinary men and women face the consequences of a migration policy that spawned a monster that is gang violence. Where's your pack for the 25-year-old uh, girl blown up by gangsters or the 71-year-old shot in the pot up while having a pint. Your job, Mr. Skinas, I'm sorry, but it's not to be campaign manager for the left. It's to deal with illegal migration. So do your job and inform us on how we escort the boats back to their ports. 17 innocent victims shot to death, bombed to death in Sweden. Shame on you. The biggest threats to our survival today and the threats to our freedom are the European Union, mass immigration, and this terrible Islamic ideology of submission 
and violence. Uncontrolled immigration, inadequate integration, and a misguided dogma of multiculturalism have proven a toxic combination for Europe over the last few decades. I'm not the first to point this out. In 2010, Angela Merkel gave a speech in which she acknowledged that multiculturalism had utterly failed. And then French President Nicolas Sarkozy and British Prime Minister David Cameron echoed similar sentiments shortly thereafter. Multiculturalism makes no demands of the incomer to integrate. It has failed because it allowed people to come to our society and live parallel lives in it. And in extreme cases, they could pursue lives aimed at undermining the stability and threatening the security of our society. You can see it play out in the streets all over Europe, from Malmo to Paris, Brussels to Leicester. It is 13 years since Merkel gave her speech, and I'm not sure that very much has changed since. If people are not able to settle in our countries and start to think of themselves as British, American, French or German, then something is going badly wrong. So don't give us this rubbish about the need of educated immigration, as we heard yesterday. We don't need your doctors. We don't need your engineers. Take them, take them all and pay for them. We don't need them. You know why? Because there is a zero terrorist attacks in Poland. Why? Because, because there is no illegal migration in Poland. Because this is a fact. This is your data from Eurostat. Il faut d'abord et avant tout stopper l'immigration anarchique. Or, vous êtes en train d'aggraver le problème du communautarisme, voire du séparatisme, et de le disséminer dans le moindre village. Il faut ensuite reprendre la main dans tous les quartiers de France, rétablir l'autorité des parents, refaire de l'école le creuset de la République, rendre à la justice sa fermeté, sans laquelle elle restera impuissante à protéger les Français. Vive la France First, just to clarify the position of Hungary on migrants, it's true that the number of migrants in Hungary is zero. The reason is very simple. We have a system which is a fair system. We say that the border is a border, and to cross the border illegally is an illegal action. So we can't accept that somebody illegally crossing the borderline, you know, it's a crime. Therefore, we, we treat everybody who is going to the friendly. Those who would like to come to Europe must stay out and waiting for the answer of the authorities to their request, they can't move earlier than that. So if you are able to manage that, migration is over immediately. That we have to make that Nederland weer for the Nederlanders wordt, that the asyl tsunami, that the immigration, that they will be beperkt, that people weer more geld in their portemonnee krijgen. Europe's streets are not safe. Last year, two Swedes were murdered in Brussels by an Islamist terrorist, an illegal alien. But ending illegal migration is only the first step to safe societies. The Islamists, the gang soldiers, are often second generation. In your country's migration crisis, Prime Minister, isn't solely caused by illegal migration. A big role is played by the universal right to apply for asylum. But Commissioner Skinas claims it is Europe's destiny to be an asylum destination. One million asylum claims in Europe last year. UN asylum rules make 780 million people eligible for asylum. The universal right to asylum is a threat to the future of Europe. Move the asylum procedure outside EU territory and process asylum claims in the first safe country. That's a migration policy that would work for Europe. Thank you. Thank you. Cela va sans dire, mais cela va mieux en le disant. Il n'y a pas et il n'y aura pas d'autres lois et valeurs en France que françaises. Comme Calais, où je me suis rendu encore récemment, sont sur les méfaits de l'immigration incontrôlée et de la carence de l'État. Des exemples éloquents, les Français n'en peuvent plus de l'immigration massive, légale et illégale. I want to appeal to all potential illegal economic migrants, wherever you are from. Do not come to Europe. Do not believe the smugglers. Do not risk your lives and your money. It is all for nothing. Greece or any other European country will no longer be a transit country. We are now being threatened by mass immigration and Islamization and what I see as the toxic combination of mass immigration from Islamic countries and at the same time a total lack of demanding for people to assimilate and to integrate. We made it very clear from the very beginning that illegal migration 
is a security issue. It's only us Hungarians to make a decision uh, with whom we would like to live together and with whom not. And that's why we have been protecting our border from the very first uh, moment. We have built fence, a very long one. Uh, we are protecting 550 kilometers of external border of uh, both European Union and Schengen uh, area. And we made it very clear that there's only one way to come to Hungary, which is the legal way, through the official border crossing points with appropriate documentation during opening hours, period. Some other European countries, unfortunately get stuck into hypocrisy and political correctness and now the consequences are very clear if you look back for the last three years of european history you will see that 29 major terrorist attacks uh, have been committed killing more than 330 persons causing injuries to an additional 1300 and this is a clear outcome of uh, of the migration crisis it's a huge security threat uh, posed on the european union that's why we think that the protection of the external border of the European Union is the number one issue.